Hello, my name is Asimo. Honda's humanoid robot. It could be the most famous robot in the world. The favorite promotional android made by Japanese manufacturer Honda is the main attraction at this year's Ars Electronic Festival in Linz, Austria. Honda Europe spokesman William de Bracalier says the company decided to make a humanoid robot because it figured a machine designed that way would interact better with people. We think having a machine which is looking like us will give much better results as well uh, because this robot will be able to open a door or to open a drawer exactly like we do. The modern version of ASIMO, an acronym for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility, is a far cry from Honda's early efforts at making a robot, which began back in 1986. For one thing, the machine's a lot more complex. De Bracalier says ASIMO now has 34 separate motors. Just an example, uh, the head of ASIMO, if I say no, I need one engine. If I say yes, I need another one. And if I incline the, the head, then I need the third one. So Asimo has three engines in his neck just to move the head. At the Ars Festival, Asimo had members of the crowd riveted and even engaged with some of them directly by playing a game. The robot's technology allows it to better predict people's movement so it doesn't get in the way. It can tell whether someone is moved in front or behind and reacts accordingly. 13-year-old Jacob was impressed. It's the innovation of tomorrow. That's all I can say. I like this a lot, and I can picture it being part of everyday life 30 years from now. One journalist sees the goal as building robots who can be accepted as something like social beings. Wolfgang Stieler says such machines could be very useful in Japan, where a rapidly aging population will need more personal assistance in the future. So the robots have to at least look like humans and we have to perceive them as no threat. And this is the case with this cute little guy. If Asimo's reception in Austria was anything to go by, Honda has certainly accomplished that mission. Thank you very much for coming today. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press. Thank you.